Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So today we're going to have a look at a software package I have not seen before. I'm not sure if it's um, just something new or if it's something that was uh, created for Budgie or whatever else, but it is called Lollipop. It is a music player. I actually installed Rhythmbox on here because I didn't see a music player, didn't even know Lollipop was a music player. And so um, what I'm doing is uh, we're going to walk through just how to use that. It's just a quick little simple program. This is going to be a very short uh, short video just to let you know about a new, very minimalistic uh, media player that's out there. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. All right, so we're going to come into our menu. We're just going to search for Lollipop. You'll see it's under sound and video. Uh, we can pull it up. Now, um, this guy here, we have a, we have a very nice uh, minimalistic layout design here. And uh, we have just in the upper corner, we have our backward forward play buttons. We have populars, recent, recently played. We have uh, the randomization options. Uh, so there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different functionalities. Now, one thing you have is you have a radio functionality. Um, so you can come over here if you know the internet address for a radio. You can do that, or you can search for something. Um, I, I mean, I don't even really know what to search for on radio anymore. <laughs> Let's just do classic hits, maybe. I don't know. There you go. There's some classic hits. Wisconsin's classic hits. Bollywood. There you go. You know, just find something here, and then what you can do is the plus button will add it to your, um, that will add it to your, uh, uh, to your list of radios over here. All right, let's see if I can get rid of, I'm guessing this, yep, that to delete them. Okay, so right there to delete them. Said I just started playing with this just a little bit ago here. All right, so what we're going to do is I want to add my media files. Um, when I booted up, you saw a notification that said detecting an empty folder. That's because the folder that I have it defaulted to is actually uh, just the music folder and there's nothing in there. I generally just serve all my music in my office to my office computers from my NAS drive and so I don't have to transfer files all over. And so first make sure you have network access enabled and then come up here for preferences. Kitty wants to come up and say hi. Hello peoples, use Lollipop. It's cool music player. Have you played with Lollipop before? I think he has. I was wondering why there was music in here playing one night. Kitty was in here playing. Uh, but anyway, inside here are your preferences. You have the light and the dark theme variation. You can show or hide genres, which I like that function because I hate music genres showing up. You know, for whatever reason, the Internet Archive spams 15 different genres on one song and then you have just this happy mess in your music library. I just prefer that everything just show the... Um, uh, showing the art, the uh, you know the information I provide it, I'll let it go on the internet to grab album pictures, and that's about it. All right. Um, under your behavior, you can auto update the music. Um, you can continue playback when it's closed, restore state on startup. So there's various options there. Um, now here under your music, and then here's web. If you need to, um, there's uh, some plugins to install if you want to do that. I haven't played with any of that. Um, but under the music here, what we can do is we'll go ahead and uh, we can just change the one we have by pulling this down, or we can just uh, keep this and add another one. I'm just going to go under other and then other locations and um, under my server address, I'm just going to load this guy up and then open that. It's That should give me, nope, did that wrong. The problem is I can't see my uh, I can't see my button under my camera. There you go. Connect. That's what I was looking for. All right, and then I actually need to enter my password here. I think that's right. Hopefully, there you go. Um, now I can go into music and push open there and then now that should start auto-populating um, the information. 
Okay, so there you go. Now it's uh, now it's starting to populate. The first time you do this, it's going to take a while. Uh, as I said, this is just we're experimenting with this. I think that uh, just my my initial testing, it's probably better if you are going to access a network drive, you probably want to uh, mount it on the system start and uh, have the drive there. Entering in the password seems to be a little bit um, a little bit more hairy. I'm going to come over here and just make sure things are working. I'm pretty sure. All right, so there you go. So things are working there, and then it should be going online and grabbing album art for all of these. Um, my database will contain all of the albums and the songs and things pretty well. I do not carry the album art in there, so it is grabbing all of my album art from the internet. Um, so um, this guy here, I mean, it seems to be working pretty good. Um, it's very. Um, uh, I'm not sure how lightweight it is. It is very, uh, very minimalistic. Let's uh, go up into a system monitor, see if I can see how much memory it's taking. Lollipop. Yeah, it's it's taking 70 megabytes. I think that we can manage 70 megabytes. <laughs> All right. Um, so there it is now going through my NAS drive. It is populating the whole library. Um, just the next time I sh if I shut down the computer and I reboot it, I will probably have to go in and re-enter the password uh, into this to, to get the music there. The library will remain, everything in there, unless I go in and I clear out the library. The library will remain. Um, but now I can actually go in. So we have, um, we have options here of all albums. Um, of course, if you've ever done things downloading albums from the internet, it's going to take a while to download everything. Um, we also have the popular albums. We have the recently added. Uh, this will give us random albums. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of cool options that you have uh, have in this system here. So here we can just go by individual artists. We can see all the albums, and I'm not sure if I can force these. Yeah, let's let's see this here. Okay, um, looks like maybe if you might need an API key to to change some of that. I bet if you uh, go on, you can probably get uh, get an API key to, if if you needed to uh, change things around. All right. So there you go. It is now populating everything through there. Uh, we have a nice lightweight system. Let me go back and turn on some classical again and. Uh, uh, and let me turn the volume down just a little and then we'll go ahead and minimize that so that's kind of out of the way now if I close this it'll probably stop playing but there's a setting um, in here that you can actually change and if you change this then when you close this continue playback when closed so now it should keep playing like that and then in my budgie menu I think it's called a Raven menu I believe um, I can actually go to the next song over here and now I can control everything inside my Raven menu and keep my music playing nicely so there you have it there's a very nice uh, lightweight uh, music player on Manjaro budgie uh, you can install that on other systems I've seen some install instructions for it as I said I hadn't known anything about that so I saw that software package I thought I'd uh, go into it and uh, play around with the settings and uh, just let people know that that exists uh, it's pretty cool um, as far as music uh, music players is going I think I like that better than rhythm box mostly because I hate that like rhythm box to me feels like a, a, an iTunes thing and I hate iTunes I do not want my music players to be going all over the internet and stuff um, I don't need all those feeds and all this ADHD software packaging rhythm box has that feel now I use it because it also is the best place to do uh, podcasting in 
uh, Linux that I've used, but please let me know if there's other podcasting tools out there because I really don't do a lot of podcasting and I'd love to uh, dive into that a little bit further, especially since I plan on doing a little bit more of it myself personally in the future. But anyway, it is a very nice lightweight system, supports uh, your own media files, uh, network uh, fo folders, and it will support adding radio stations. Uh, very lightweight, very minimalistic, and it integrates beautifully with the system. So there you have it. There is Lollipop. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you would like to help support the channel, you can check us out at switchtolinux.com forward slash support, and you can learn about how you can support us here. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.